Welcome to Heartland Makes and Outdoors. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how you can make this underspin rabbit fur bass fishing lure. And the one thing that's really cool about this, guys, I just caught my personal best crappie from Caddo Lake using this exact lure. It was second cast, caught a huge crappie. So let's get to the video. All right, guys, sorry about that. We're having a little bit of technical difficulties this morning. It's like three o'clock in the morning. Sorry, I just lost that little bit of video. My battery died on this camera. I thought that I had enough, but I had to go find the plug-in. So we're gonna basically restart this, but we're starting it right here. You can see, and I'll zoom in on this so you can see, we've got red thread base layer a little bit of sally hansen's just a little bit here and we've got that leather hooked through what i tried to get the center obviously we're a little off doesn't really matter it's a handmade lure so now that we're where we need to be next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the natural rabbit fur down and try to center that up again a little bit of sally hansen's on this and that will actually kind of help hold your rabbit fur as well next up you know me i like to add a little bit of color so we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of this flash in here i don't think it hurts anything i think if anything else it kind of helps and then it also makes your lure just a little bit unique as opposed to everybody else's out there and we'll get that just kind of started laid in here and again that doesn't have to be perfect we're just getting a little bit and then the next thing that I want to do again, just for a little bit, a tiny bit more action right in here, we're going to throw a little bit of this gray marabou right on top. It's about the same color. And again, that'll just provide a little bit more action. You could skip the marabou, but I thought, hey, let's, we're giving this lure away. Let's make it cool. So next up, we're going to get our white yarn that we've been using. If you guys have been following along, you know that this is just the cheap yarn from Walmarts. All right, so after you tie in the, the yarn, just kind of twist it a little bit, we're gonna go up. Kind of think about this in the rule of thirds, if you guys are familiar with with photography at all and it, does, it there's no exact science here but we're just getting close to the rule of thirds so we're going to kind of break that up now we're going to tie in this white hackle bring it around flip it around this way and it's going to go just kind of make sure you get several good wraps on that we're going to wrap that tight this little underspin is constantly getting in the way but we'll work around that you just want to make sure that you don't have it tied in like i just did all right so our underspin is free our white hackles tied in we did let go of the yarn so it's a little bit loose get this up here and then we're going to tie that in right there just like that keep wrapping up and then right here we're just going to tie that off to hold it for a minute okay now then we've got our hackle we're going to start wrapping that around We'll get up there about the third mark where we tied off our string we're gonna tie that off right there make sure we're out of the way with the understand We're going to cut that excess hackle off right there. Now we're going to get our red hackle and tie it in. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's go ahead and cut this 
because we're good with that thing too. Now our red hackle, same deal as what we did just a second ago, we're just going to tie that in. Got several wraps on that. Again, kind of spread your hackle out. We want it to be in front of the white and behind the spinner. <laughs> Again, this guys, this thing works so well, it's worth the effort. I know this is not super easy, but it's not super difficult either. But I like that little bit of flash of the red that you're going to be getting on this. I think the fish like it. And now we're just going to go ahead and tie that in. Cut that off. And now, we'll straighten our hook up. Now we're just going to kind of pull all that back just a little bit. And this may take several tries. If you've got, then make a clip that will hold your materials back. I don't have one. Just using my fingers. Now we're going to do a whip finish. And this, you have to have a big spot so that you can get that underspin through there. Otherwise, you're going to end up tying that thing up, which will create a mess. You could also do this with your fingers as well, guys, but we're just going to keep on going here. And we've got a mess. Let's just do our fingers. All you got to do is twist it. We're just doing the same thing. It's just going to make your life easier than trying to use it because it keeps popping off. Put about three or four. We'll call that good. And here's what we got, guys. We've got the red feather up front, you got your kind of your underbellies, kind of the gray, you've still got a little bit of the dark color up on top of this lure. And I'm telling you what guys, this thing works. We got a little bit of flash over here, kind of give it a little bit of, again, a little more flash, a little more color. But this is, <laughs> it is a crappie getting son of a gun. It's a bass catching son of a gun. And if you guys are fishing Caddo Lake, you need to make some of these. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go over to Caddo Lake. I'm going to show you some B-roll of what we do have from Caddo Lake. And then we'll show you the pictures of the fish we caught. Again, guys, if you'd like to win this lure, all you have to do, number one, is you have to be a subscriber. So if you haven't subscribed, I'd like to talk you into subscribing. Just hit the subscribe button down below. Down in the comments below, put hashtag free lure. Again, when this video hits 85, we will be doing the giveaway. If you guys are not aware what we're doing in the future, every time our, our giveaways hit the designated number, we're gonna do the drawing and the video will post Sunday afternoons, roughly about 12.30 in the afternoon. That gives you time to go to church, go out and eat with your family or whatever, then come home before the ball games kick off and, and see if you actually won. I'm telling you right now, guys, I'm super excited about this lure. Again, second cast out. I caught my personal best crappie from Caddo Lake. I'm super proud of this lure. I think it's gonna be really, really productive with the bass and everything else out there. Again, we appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes. Good luck to each and every one of you on your chance to win this lure. May you all have a blessed week. And let's get outside and make something happen.